And Virginia Tech from Blacksburg. Kid against Trainer and off and rolling in the ACC on a Sunday afternoon. Drag screen up top there. You can see how much they're trying to help down low there with Kid. And inside for a dunk. Louisville had pulled on over but didn't stay there. Best in the country. A slow start from outside for the Hokies. Haven't hit from out deep yet, but a whirling Sean Padula scores. When, when that hadn't happened to him since the ACC title game a few years ago when he was a reserve player. Well, that leads to a dunk for J.J. Trainer on the broken play. But you see the, you see the dunk here just off the 50-50 ball. It's a scram. No he restrictions as far as I know. Depending on how he plays. Off the turnover, Padula stripped from behind by Johnson. And a lightning quick guard off the bench ahead to Clark who misses, but Trainer's there to follow it up. And Couture lethal outside shooter run off the line, but scores plus a foul. Defense leading to offense, just where I was saying, in the chest. And, and how they guard on that in the chest gets a turnover, which leads to a fast break opportunity. Right there, Couture. You know, everyone Louisville, but better offense, and that happens. they got to find another way or two in this for an ACC play to get another signature win to find a way to do that. Off the shot fake, Hunter Couture from three. Well, you can see Couture here, just they, they really stayed on him. Mike James stayed on him. And, and this first half, almost to the midway point. Chance to tie or take the lead. Head of the 10-minute mark with Kidd on the spin for the slam. Absolutely love the move. And lifted, and then look at this move by Kidd. You see the body to body. He didn't give him space. And he was able to feel it. That's how he played. That's part of his game is those tough mid-range twos. Kidd trying the other block and goes underneath. You can see the spin. That time, again, he got his chest to him and he was able to feel the contact and spun baseline. The time before where he guarded him, he gave him a little more space where he wasn't able to, to spin. But that's that's Lynn Kidd's move. Clark knocks in the three. Transition defense by Virginia Tech. I wonder if Collins is a little rusty, obviously, from not playing last game. Yeah, he has the give up for the kid slam. You can see the transition here. You can just see he beat everyone down the floor. You can see Louis Velcro on you and not give you any room on the catch. A big foul to Padula with two fouls on the bench. And Huntley Hatfield capitalizes. I think that's why Louisville maybe closed out short and playing the numbers. Uh oh, from the mid-range again, plus a foul for Trey White. Second time today we've seen him go to this mid-range shot. Got fouled on this one also. Well, as we just putting all energy towards that is giving guys like Lynn Kidd or Poteet opportunities to get right to the block to score. We're seeing some more production in the paint today for Virginia Tech, and that continues with Collins. Some rhythm to get going in the game, play a little bit to get his rhythm back. Great move there, going to the left. Well, Padula back in there to start the second half after foul trouble. And in the kid for an easy two in the lead. Well, Louisville off the back-to-back uh, back -back wins. Survived in overtime against New Mexico State. Beat Bellerman in the second half. Come back and kid with a loud start to the second half. Sharing science, technology, and math and physics, but I was, most coaches probably say don't shoot those, but for him, that's his game. Uh, Padula ducking underneath and scores it. Padula! Right where they needed to start. I mean, with the, like a house on fire, the how the intensity they had. Good ball movement. They've been working on that. There's Padula creating for Kidd. That combo shows up again. Especially with Lynn Kidd. Where's the answer come from for Louisville now? Into the post, and there it is. Huntley Hatfield for two. The Hokies were on a 6-0 run out of the locker room, and Johnson hits that, and he's fouled. Giving Louisville the lead right back. Got his hand down and fouled at the last second, got his wrist right there. Good call. Passed on an outside look. Hasn't been able to hit yet today. And Poteet nails that plus a foul. You can see right here going right into Poteet inside. Didn't get the wall up, hands down. Big and one. Point. Louisville 1-1, 4-0 yep. swing. 
Virginia Tech 1-1, 4-0 -one, swing. And when, in the game of basketball, those are the difference between winning and losing. Poteets! And it back on the approach. Elijah Poteet. Yep, and you can see. No foul trouble for Kidd. He's sitting on two fouls. This is Poteet and Huntley Hatfield. Huntley Hatfield with the follow away. Nice touch. Really big shot there. Late clock. Collins having a big day. Five to get it up. And he hit another. One of the top scores for Louisville. Here's that matchup. James has double digits. So does Clark. Clark on the take. The runner goes down. Another miss from Padula, but getting really late. Clark for three. That's short. And that'll do it. Virginia Tech wins the ACC opener over Louisville.